onions and some tomatoes i didn't get the the fully matured tomatoes and marigolds uh because it's okay to take time and grow this thing slowly uh however i also got the bricks so i'm going to make a mini garden for now and i also got the soil so we're going to plant that and i'm going to check if uh the pumpkin leaves are good at mom's house if they have uh, germinated yet i'm going to check that as well then i'll see we'll see you when i get there see ya Hey guys, so I just got to mom's house and so here I had planted some pumpkin leaves. If you can see, these are, this is pumpkin, oh this, and I have more here that didn't come out and here as well. I don't know why, um, I don't know what's going on, but we'll see. I'm going to leave these here in this and see what happens look at this one turning i think it's because of too much sun and here i planted some kale um you see all this this is all kale and it's coming it's coming out so we have to remove this and see what happens now we have to plant on the ground so i have to prepare this land for when i have to do that uh, i don't know how i'm going to do this but we're going to do just a little piece. We're not going to do the whole thing. I think we're just going to do like a square. I don't know how many inches by how many, but I bought seven bricks, which would be a four by three kind of situation. That's what I'm going for. We'll see how big that will be. I think that should be enough for a few tomatoes that I got and the marigold. And then we'll see what happens with the veggies because I'm not going to plant that today. We're not doing that. Okay. See you soon. We just gave him a task to do now. He's part of the gardening community, okay? All right, this is my no, brother. No, by, by the hour. You want to so charge me? Is. Guys, we need to do this thing. We need to work. And this one doesn't want to help. Oh my God, what is that?
I just put some cardboard boxes now. I'm going to put some soil on top and um, and see what happens. And then I'll plant something possibly today. I'll leave some tomatoes with some marigolds and that's it. Then we'll come back later. planting today I'm only planting some marigold and some tomatoes that I got from the store um, I'm only planting a few here and then I'll take two to my house <laughs> so I'm planting the rest except for two and we're only putting tomatoes at the corners of the garden and then later on we're going to add other things in between you know so you put a plant of tomato and a marigold tomato marigold tomato marigold you get what I mean so let's do that this is going to be we need to water it before oh done. we don't know how to open this thing so we can't use the outside water now hey look at the garden the garden is looking good looking good it's tilted I have to deal with that experiment time I'm going to plant some tomatoes uh, some basil, some spinach, uh, some peppers. I'm just going to pour it and see if it comes out. And I even have rape. This is not what you think it is. This is just like kale. Uh, that's what we call it. And I'll put more spinach, different versions of everything. I'm just going to put these things after I water everything. So I'm going to leave the cardboard box to melt into the soil a little bit. And then I'll come back and plant my seedlings. So see you very soon in an hour or two. Bye. Ciao. We are planting our tomatoes and some marigolds. And that's all we are doing today. And we're only planting in the corners so we only have going to have four tomatoes actually five one in the middle four on the edges right that's it and i bought these tomatoes from the store because the ones i planted they're taking too long to grow so we just have to work with what we have and as you know when you're planting your tomatoes in the ground you have to remove the bottom leaves until the one you want so i'm going to only leave these ones so i removed everything else so all this will be in the soil this will be good
going to use these sticks to hold these tomato plants just in case they decide oh just in case they decide to bear any fruits like this one look at this beauty look at this beauty so i can't wait to see i have to get some of these veggies and we may need to replant uh some of these um pumpkin seeds and see what happens because this area might be getting too much water i don't know what's going on i still don't know so we'll see we'll see hey guys mom is not opening the door i don't know if no one is available or what hey guys so welcome back to my channel today i am at mom's house again so i've been coming here recording little clips but forgetting to edit and post them as many updates of mom's garden but i want to show you something okay i'm so happy that this garden is thriving finally thriving because i don't know the the rain was too much the sun was a lot but now everything is doing what it's supposed to there was even a butterfly in the garden do you know how good that is so before i without you know trying to take too much time this video is just to show you an update on mom's garden it's right here okay i'm so happy let's do this So without trying to go any further here, I will try to find all the clips of what I did to this garden before um, and then we talk about it. So firstly, uh, I planted whatever's and yeah, so we have some peanut, uh, I'm saying peanut, we have some pumpkin leaves here. So this is a pumpkin uh, plant and we have butternut plant as well it's a mix of everything so we don't know which is which really so i just planted so many because they were not growing as i wanted them to but because we eat the leaves it's okay if we plant more in land they will just spread and go wherever they're going and this plant here i think she's suffering a little bit because she's not getting enough uh sunlight because of competition around but it's okay because her sisters and brothers are growing and covering up for her right so in this garden we have some tomatoes we have this tomato plant over here and she is giving us some babies and we have some flowers that that are coming up here whilst others are dying i think it was because of too much sun they were really scorched by the sun you know when the temperatures rise so high we can't protect them enough so yeah we at least we have those tomatoes we we'll have to take them uh, from this plant very soon we have to remove them and get them to get red in the house because we know when birds discover these we shall not survive and we have another tomato plant on this corner so I planted tomatoes I have five tomatoes in the whole garden if you can see the whole thing I have two one corner one corner and one in the middle so my cousin didn't know that that was a tomato plant so he didn't water it so when i found it it was dying it was just a little little 
piece in the bottom and it hadn't grown like this so i'm so happy that it has grown i told him this is a tomato plant please water it so yeah i'm so happy that it's growing and yeah so we have our tomatoes look at these ones too they are growing big right and we have some vegetables here and we these are this is a zimbabwean vegetable uh that mom got from home so it's more like kale but it's not really kale it's softer um yeah so this is growing well and i have some marigolds <clears throat> around so each tomato plant has a marigold next to it just to have some you know repellent to this pest but would you believe these tomatoes are the same size is the ones at my house it's just that these ones are bigger because they're getting all the sun and all the rain and all the goodness from the ground without having to deal with my containers that don't get enough sun throughout the day right and the soil mix that i used was just the potting mix so i clear the ground put some um cardboard boxes then i lay down so much tomato so much uh, uh soil and then i added uh some pitch what do you call it some grass on top to cover up so that the water doesn't just go you know it get evaporated quicker and we have some corn when you and i saw corn on the other side of mom's house the other day as well so we're going to check if it's still there but yeah this is the garden guys I am so happy. I am so proud that it's thriving now and I hope she's eating these veggies enough. She has, it shows that she's been eating. So I am a happy child. Nothing says happy than a thriving garden. You know what I mean? All I want to do here is to just sit out and chill. So if you know or if you don't know where I come from, Zimbabwe, we eat pumpkin leaves, which are these and we also eat the flowers as well the flowers are even healthier they also have their own uh nutrients nutrient density whatever they offer you i don't know i can't remember mom knows i'll find a video of her telling me last year what it was but yeah we'll we eat that so yeah i'm so happy that this is the garden um i used to have some of the um pumpkin pumpkin plants in the containers but they were not growing as good as i wanted them to so i put them in that corner that's why there are so many in that corner than anywhere else so i feel like i should plant beans what do you think should i put some beans somewhere you know i don't know maybe not but maybe yes who knows beans or peas might do this is so good it's giving me happiness good vibes yeah i'm so happy guys all right i should go